G'day everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here. And this week we're answering uh, a viewer's question and that's about um, the pitch and tone of um, the voice of kids and adolescents on the autism spectrum. Now, the tone of voice has actually been a topic of interest since the very first descriptions of autism. Now, of course, voice is actually a really important thing for a number of reasons. Firstly, if we identify differences in the voice, that might actually help us understand more about the biology underpinning autism. And secondly, of course, if we identify differences in voice, we can actually start to understand, does this impact on the social and communication differences we see in kids and adolescents on the autism spectrum? And of course, how can we use this information to provide better support? Now, the study we linked to today is what's called a systematic review. So we looked at all of the studies out there before and brought them together to come out with an answer. And so what they looked at is 32 studies uh, that had examined the uh, acoustic properties of voice in, in kids on the autism spectrum. What they actually found were two clear differences. One is that on average there is a higher pitch um, of voice in kids uh, on the spectrum. And the second one is that there is higher variability in the pitch, so more sing-songy type uh, acoustic properties. Now, of course, there was a lot of differences between different kids and adolescents, and so th that doesn't apply to every child on the autism spectrum, um, but on average, there were those differences. Now, the really key thing now is how do we use this information to provide better care and support um, for kids on the autism spectrum. And that's the research challenge now, and we'll keep you informed.